Welcome back folks, MTG Joe here and we have an exciting one today. We are playing in the Zendikar Championship Qualifier. Um, so to get invited to this arena tournament, you have to finish top 1200 in either June, July or August. We finished top 1200 in both June and August. So I'm super qualified to apparently go 03. But let's hope for something a little bit better. Um, so this is the list I ended up submitting. Uh, we'll play through, uh, to get to day two, you need to get to seven wins, uh, and you can, before you hit three losses. Um, I got, I'm currently like top 400, at least last night I was when I stopped playing with this in Mythic, uh, with this list. It's a mono green stompy list, but a bit more focused, um, for like grindier elements. So we're not playing the collected company version. Um, there's a lot of like incidental hate with like cage and stuff like that. Um, instead, we're playing kind of Vivian Tribal Stompy. Um, four mana Vivian's really, really good. Um, it's removal, it's trample, it makes your things bigger. You can also fetch uh, sideboard cards. So situationally, you can get some good cards from there. And then I really liked uh, five mana Vivian as well. Uh, this gives you card advantage, gives you a steady stream of blockers or attackers. Um, it's helped the uh, blue-white or band control matchups. I found the Coco version, you generally like get your board out and then they sweep and then you don't have much recovery. This puts constant pressure on them. Uh, you can also kind of find ways to like, if you cast like Questing Beast, you can cheat out one of these smaller ones as well. Uh, but it's pretty much like a token maker on the top end with card advantage built in. So the rest of the deck, we're a green deck, so we're playing Llanowar Elves. Um, that helps us get some of our turn three plays or on turn two. Pelt Collectors, then we have two drops in Har Coral Harpooner. Uh, this can be a way to get rid of Shark Typhoon tokens with the fight. Uh, also, Corvold is being played more in the sack matchups, so it's a way to have an answer to that. Uh, Barkhide Troll is just a solid beater with some built-in protection. Uh, you could reset the counters with Vivian to give it uh, Hexproof multiple times. Um, then you have Ram Through as a removal in the main board. Um, so Ram Through player is really nice with Garruk's Uprising. Garruk's Uprising gives everything trample, uh, so you can push through extra damage. I've won some games by uh, doing that kind of interaction. Um, this also gives us card advantage, both from the when it enters the battlefield if we control power four or more, or when other creatures enter. So it's a way to kind of keep the value going in a, in a green deck where generally you're not going to have that card advantage. Uh, two Ronas, Indestructible, can attack or block unless you have a creature power 4 or greater. And then it has uh, three mana, pump another creature and give it trample. Steel Leaf, very good against uh, a lot of the smaller decks, goblins, stuff like that. Uh, some games you just have a two mana, like turn two with Elf, 5-4. And that usually just takes us to victory. Uh, Yorvo's a couple in here. They get bigger over the course of the game. Pairs nice with the trample. Uh, this usually gets cut in like the sack matchup, stuff like that. Questing Beast, very good. Attack Planeswalkers, pseudo unblockable against some stuff. The Death Touch works really well with Vivian because you can assign damage and the damage with Death Touch kills it. Um, and then Mana Base, we have 24 lands. We're playing the four, uh, 19 Forest, four uh, Deserts that give them pump, and one Mobilized District. Uh, Mobilized District pair is pretty nice. We have a number of legendaries here, uh, so it gets the cost reduction. Um, but it also, I've had games where you attack and then because it has Vigilance, you can also ram through, which plays pretty nice. Um, the sideboard, Graph Digger's Cage, obviously a necessity in this meta. Uh, Ooze for Graveyard decks, Grook's Harbinger generally comes in against either Sultai or heavy black base decks, sometimes against Sack, depending on the variant. Uh, Gem Razor versus like Sack decks. And these can also be fetched with Vivian, which is nice. Uh, four Shifty Boys, uh, this one is good for blue-based matchups, control, stuff like that. It's just a hasty attacker. Uh, two Vivians, uh, this could come in against Sac, uh, Grindy decks, control, uh, destroy artifact enchantment or creature with flying. Happens to be very good against the Corvald stuff. And then we have one Primal Might just as a fifth removal spell. So it's pretty much the deck. We're going to run it through. I might be a little less talkative on this particular one because my line of thoughts will have to be a little bit tighter. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks, uh, Comfucos and Minthin98 for the follows. Uh, so let's play. 
I always get like nervous with these tournaments. So Sacks a tough Ginkgo. No, I played Ginky. They might be on Salta if it's the person I'm thinking. Okay, we'll keep this hand. So Elf's on one, then I could go Pelt Collector, Crawl Harpooner on two, and then I can go either Ronus on three or Steel Leaf Champion. Okay, they might be on something Stompy as well. I feel like I've played this person. Explore. Are they just on straight ramp? Yeah, let's hope for that. <laughs> um, so because they they might have Krasis, I'm going to hold the Car Harpooner. Hey, Confucius. It's a tough day to stream. Like, Crokies is on. There's a bunch of people on. So tend to not get the same uh, viewer counts. Um, so this turn is probably Ronus. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to dodge. Oh, this is just mono green planeswalkers. That's fine. Like they could get meteor golem here, but it's not that impressive. Yeah, I'm not as worried as the Planeswalk. I'm like Ugin Rexus, but this deck generally doesn't play 8 mana Ugin, they play bad Ugin. Okay, so they have Ratchet Bomb. Can get rid of my 1 drops. So here, I think we just tack, tack, tack. Do I care about Karn? So realistically, because they could get Meteor Golem, it takes me off my Steel Leaf Champion. So they can get Meteor Golem, they can kill my Steel Leaf. No, they their creature they have Gilded Goose. So they I can kill a Gilded Goose, which is fine. It's nothing crazy impactful. So with that block they actually took a bit more damage, because if we did everything face, they blocked the Ronus. So we got two points of damage more in here. The Ratchet Bomb will kill these two. Um, if they get Meteor Golem, then they kill this and they have another blocker. Because I'm also sandbagging this as a way to get through some extra damage later on. Okay, they go Stone Coil. Yeah, they're dead. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Okay, so Vivian's good. That's good. Um, probably Primal Might. Ooze doesn't do much. Harbinger doesn't do much. Ceratops doesn't do much. Yorvo. Uh, so we can get rid of the Harpooners. 
And honestly, on the play, we probably cut a Pelt Collector. They've shown Ratchet Bomb, so at least Ratchet Bomb takes a couple turns to get going. Um, here, I think we're okay with all our three drops. Do they play Perlius Vaults is a question. Sounds awful. Okay, keep this hand, probably get rid of Ram through. So we're going to blow up the Mind Stone. You're a turn too late, Pelt Collector. Damn, Nisa. So we get Trample here, so I can poke in either five or at least two. Ideally want to hit a land here for this Questing Beast. Turn three Nisa is going to be tough this game. Especially with Vivian, do they just make one of these five power? They hit me for 8, 9 this turn. Yeah. These games are really going to come down to who has the elf. So I need land to questing beast, and then we try to take down Nisa. If we don't hit land, we're dead. I'm really surprised they did Karn there. Because this lets me go Questing Beast. Questing Beast attack. You attack there. And get rid of Nisa. I probably take five here, take out the forest with three counters. They go. Meteor Golem, they got to tap down most of their board. That was loose. Especially, they did that to just uptick a Karn. Yeah, it's my first match. I'm up 1-0. Uh, we took game one pretty convincingly. But game two, opponent uh, turn three Nisa into turn four Vivian. While uh, we drew all our one drops after turn one. Voracious. That's a good draw. That was a hell of a draw. So I can go Pelt Collector, Pelt Collector, take a point of damage. The question is, do I attack here for five before showing them the Steel Leaf? 
If I attack like that with five, then I'm dead to Anissa off the top. And I'm dead to any removal. I think we do that. It sets us up. We're probably not winning this game. Okay. See what they get. It's six, seven for Meteor Golem. Oh, they can get God Pharaoh statue, and then I die on my upkeep. Oh, Shadow Sphere. That'll do. So we are dead anyways, whether we took the point or not. They attack with everything. Um... Do we want to be a little bit more aggressive? Maybe we trim down that Vivian. I don't think ooze is needed. Maybe just go up a harpooner. I don't want to overcommit because I have the ratchet bombs. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people playing Jun. Okay, so we're on the play. Let's hope for an elf draw. Let's hope our opponent doesn't turn three Nisa. This isn't what I meant by an elf draw. Ha, da, 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 da. Okay, sounds much better. I'm going to put away a second elf here. Second elf or is a Vivian? Because this having second elf it works nice if they have a Llanowar elf on one. I think it might actually beat Vivian. Because we're quite a few lands away. And then they mulliganed as well. So if we can hit them with like a fight the Llanowar elf. So take them off their mana. Okay, so now we just need something. Action wise. Okay, ram through is not bad. It'll let us fight something next turn. Wouldn't mind gem razor. Steel Leaf, Yorvo, just something to evolve these Pelt Collectors again. The very least I can fight Anissa Land if they have it. I wish we had this up. Elf. I think I just need to continue doing this. Draw's been pretty bad here. Okay, Karn will go get Ratchet Bomb is my guess. If 
they can't play it out this turn. That bodes pretty well for us. We probably still kill Karn. Just because it gets um, more mana to do something with after. Questing Beast would be the best draw right now. They go Golos. It's interesting. Gonna hold this land. That'll let them get uh, the multicolor land. Give me a questing beast. Get in through three damage this turn. Vivian Arc Bow doesn't do it. They might not block here. Okay, they do block. I'm just trying to set up because if we draw like Questing Beast, even Gem Razor at this point kills Golos and we get uh, two counters on it. Okay, double Vivian. They just get to fight both my things. Ah, this game's annoying. We had it too. Attack in. Be greedy and attack in. Why am I drawing all these damn one drops? I think we lost. Because they're just getting free value at this point. They get to see three cards every turn for free and cast them. Draw every single one of our pelt collectors and none of our big creatures. I've drawn none of the top end of my deck. It's going to be Ratchet Bomb. Then they can fetch Gargaroth if they want. Oh, Shadow Sphere is also good. Gains on the life, because now I can't punk them out with Questing Beast. Give me a gem razor. Give me a gem razor. Or Vivian. Yeah, I can't win at this point. Ah, not a good game one. Not a good game one. We took the first game, but... Let's regroup. That one was uh, not the best. We had outs there, and that's what I like about this deck. With all the haste threats, you have a number of outs, but literally just needed to draw anything of our top end that game, and we just didn't. Sam's not good. Is this how the day's gonna go? Yay, a Hollow Fountain deck.
Grow Spiral into Board Wipe. This Ram through is basically a mulligan against this deck. So they have Grow Spiral. They have Brazen Borrower. Okay. Just not getting lands here. So Crawl Harpooner can fight this. We just go elf here. Seems very aggressive. With Teferi, they're going to get too much value. Let's just go to sideboards. Armasaur is good in this matchup. Questing Beast is good. I usually cut... So, it's indestructible, but they have Exile and Tuck effects, and they're usually going to be killing our board, so it's not that great. Get rid of the Ram Throughs. Get rid of the Yorvos. And then I usually will cut. So I want these because they draw cards. Harpooner, probably trim one. Plexormon, thanks for the follow. Can't really do much there. Mulligan is five. We had five lions with, with our first play being a four drop. It's not going to really do much. Really disappointed with that first match. One card away, we would have been fine. I think we keep this. We're on the play. Grook's Uprising is a good card. We have a lot of key cards in this matchup. Okay, so Barkhide's pretty nice here. Gives us something to do this turn, and then I can go into Garuk's Harbinger. I think we do this first. And then I'm gonna hold this for post board wipe because it can attack down a Teferi as well. Okay, that's actually really good for us. So we have protection here. They can have a board wipe. If we have a land, I can Ceratops with haste. Of course, not a land. One more draw at a land. This is how today is going to go. We have multiple shots there to hit a land. We had three extra draws. Probably just start running out Vivians. They might have cast out.
Cast Note's a good tool for them in this game. And they got Tef. See what they do with Tef here. Again, land to be the best draw. Perfect. So what I can do here is Lionel Elf, Vivian, kill the Teferi. So that prevents them from getting an extra draw and then doing some tap on tap shenanigans. Or they just naturally rip another one. So... We know we have Vivian on top because they tucked the other Vivian. So I can go th three damage. I can get this going. Which may be best. I think we do that. So this can be Brazen Borrower. Just fine. We can play around Sensor. Okay, just Growth Spiral. Really want to see a questing beast or a ceratops. Uro, they're short one to escape, thankfully. Oh, they just got Gargi. Because why not? Okay. We got the ceratops. Um, so let's play the land. I could have down ticked and we could have got nothing really that helps. Okay, so we know we have forest on top. So I can attack with everything. They block, they can gain some life, draw a card. Then at least this gets Pelt Collector bigger. Okay, so interesting. So we'll create a beast. They're going to take nine here. This does let me fight next turn. Just go Vigilance here. This also lets me trade with the Gargaroth. Okay, so they're gonna get Uro. 
I do have Vivian Double Fight available. They just, so I have seven, eight mana, so I can play out both Vivians from hand. We know we're drawing a forest. We probably double block Gargaroth. Cycle. They might be looking for Wrath of God and then to clean it up into Uro. Okay, so they didn't hit that. That takes them up to seven. So they're attacking with both. I think we let it go through now. Okay, so they're creating a beast. So I should be able to resolve at least one of these Vivians. If I do that, They have a beast and thing. The beast can't block, your uh, Uro can't block the beast. So the blocker's there. Otherwise they have three blockers. Yeah, I think we... This is worse against Brazen Borrower. If we do this, they have Brazen Borrower, we get blown out, but I think we have to do it. Okay, boats pretty well, just in terms they might only have one counter, they do have the untap. Seven percent chance at questing beast. Gem Razor is also really nice. Vivian Reed is also nice. So we know we can't hit Vivian, so we need Gem Razor or Questing Beast because we're drawing a forest. Another shifting ceratops would be good. Interesting, so they shock. So we know we have a forest on the top. Okay, so that gets Essence Capture out of the way. Four cards. We literally had double counter. So, I can minus here, I can play the Barkhide Troll, 
I can attack with Ceratops, but then they get the attack back with Uro. They have five other cards, so they can escape Uro back again. They also have this Teferi. If I do Bark Eye Troll, I get another thing, but I think we just make tokens. If I attack like this, they block, block, they only take three, and then I'm down on board. So I just, I can put Trample, it brings it down to one. Makes it a bit easier. Them having exactly two counter spells really hurts. Okay, so that might mean they have another Teferi. We've had our engine in place, we just haven't seen much off the top. I'm starting with spirals, a good start. I will block this Uro. Like they can escape it back again. You know what? It's probably better not to trade with it. Because if their plans just escape another Uro, they have to sack it anyways. Aether Gust. Vivian Arcbow Ranger. Aether Gust. They had the Gust. They had the Gust. This one I'm going to give Reach. So I'm not attacking here because they can double block at this point. Opponent has managed to draw some very timely spells. Okay, so they had the Brazen Borrower. I can block the Borrower here. I can also block Uro. See how they attack. This Vivian can blow up the cast out. T 
Time wise, they're still decent. We just haven't had a good like top of the deck chain of creatures. Again, like we haven't seen Questing Beast at all in these games. Like Steel Leaf, we have eighteen percent chance of our deck of hitting a reasonable creature that gets the draw chain going. It's a land at least. So hopefully this Vivian. So like we're gonna hit this. That gives us trample. Our luck, this last card's gonna be another counter spell. We also had him down to like seven, but these stupid arrows keep coming back and gaining him life. Okay, they're scrying. Let's cue Aethergust off the top. Top, top. That's uh, terrifying. This is super annoying. Four cards in the grave. Are you kidding me? This opponent's hitting everything. Because the problem is now we know too we have the land on top. Here comes to fairy. So they're gonna set up their draw, likely a counter spell. Sorry about that. Okay, well, let's throw down this Vivian. Destroy this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just land on top of land? So they get to kill one of ours. But I think that's fine. I think it's important to get the fairy off the battlefield. Let's just 
Let's make another one with reach. Okay, if we'd stop drawing lands, we might have a chance. I think we need to protect our planeswalkers here. Uh, for those in chat, is the frame rate okay? Are you noticing any drops or anything? I just had a, the stream just cut out for a sec. Are you kidding me? How do you top deck into another Teferi? Better lucky than good. Okay, they are at 14 minutes, so if we could win a game here, we might be able to time them out. Let's see what we can do here. You can only activate this when you cast the sorcery. So block, block. I think we have enough mana that the protection on Barkhide troll is probably reasonable. These walkers are going to give us card advantage, which we desperately need here. Probably gonna escape another Uro, is my guess. Okay, I'd love a questing beast. Right, Twenty cards. Thanks, Pedro. Okay, so we get to draw land here. Or draw this. Opponent's playing slow. They're up a game, but if they lose this one, they're going to have to try to close things out pretty quickly. Maybe in game one, we should have let them play it out a little longer. KD1, thanks for the follow. That's a great draw. Oh, we are drawn well. Aether Gust. Put that on top. So they probably have board wipe here. So they have to block with this. Could have done this. Maybe that's wrong, I should have done that.
Mm. So I th think we draw a card here. Sorry, Arena crashed. S messed up the system. Okay, so they're going to scry here. They're looking for a sweeper. So I'm doing this because I can go both um, Questing Beast and Shifting Ceratops next turn. I'm gonna double block here. Cause I have a board wipe. Actually. Let's just do this. Cause if they don't hit the board wipe, I can threaten lethal. Okay, bodes well, baffling end. Probably gonna get this mobilized district. What are the chances this is settled? Probably. Okay, they just concede. Cool, that one was intense. That was intense. Um, maybe we want oozes instead of these harpooners. And then maybe we want Ronas. Because Ronas will give us Death Touch. Cage doesn't make much sense in this matchup because they have to ferry to tuck it as well as cast out. Opponents also got like 10 minutes left on clock. So we're going to try to be deliberate with our actions. Okay, this hand's great. Mobilized District will help as well. The one of it has actually been pretty cheeky. Okay, well, they're wasting their clock. Bank control typically doesn't win too quickly, so. Garuk's Uprising that game was really good with both the Vivians. Provided us a lot of card advantage. The Brazen Bars is an interesting inclusion. I think from a tempo perspective, it's pretty good. Hmm. 
think that's fine play. Okay, so they have Uro. Could be seeing a Teferi. Which in all honesty is probably fine because I have Questing Beast. See if they pick up their pace at all. Elder Gargaroth. Well, you want to block a questing beast? So Tefkin, Tuck, Questing Beast. Okay, they just draw. Mm, so I can Oasis here. Put it on the Questing Beast so that forces the trade. Actually, don't mind that. Obviously, I have Brazen Bar, I get blown out here. So, here they can take a free block. So they take a free block, but then I get seven damage into them. They draw a card like this. They're forced to tr decide between the Gargaroth and that. Which I think we just do this. Are you kidding me? Teferi Tux here. Because if it died, then this would have been a four power. They probably have counters up at this point. Gust me. Come on. Stupid game. And this is the way they could kind of steal it with this Elder Gargaroth going off and then Teferi just refilling their hand. Two gusts in your top 15 cards certainly helps. Tell me a third gust. Tell me a third gust. It's fine, you can deal with this. Nine. So land lets us play double. We're just going to burrow, escape burrow. I think we lost this. We're playing with some pace this game. Super, super frustrating. Got 
doesn't help. Need to attack in. They just need to attack. Frig. O oh, two. A couple of rough ones. <sighs> that matchup's usually pretty good. All right, 7-0. 7-0 streak coming. And like timely answers. All right. Let's run them down. Still think this deck's good, it's just getting hit by a bunch. That's a good follow-up play. We're curving out nice. So this could be salt eye. Um usually get okay, red. Could be pyromancer. Could be Sakdos, no Teamer. So it's probably the Teamer Flash deck. Just gotta get the sensor out of the way, it's fine. So they have Magma Quake. Anger of the Gods. That kinda sucks. So I think what we do is this turn just do this. And then next turn we can questing beast. It's 10, so we're short two. So, well, I guess they Magma Quake us anyways, so let's maximize our damage. They Magma Quake in combat. Hoping for a land in Uro here. Doesn't help. Hey Vanian. Um yeah, if I can if you want to post the questions like in between kind of dead time, happy to try to answer them. Um just because this is the tournament, I'm gonna be a little bit more focused on the gameplay. Um, but even if you want to drop any comments like on the Aether Hub or stuff like that, I'm happy to answer those. They're probably a Shark Typhoon deck. And because they have Anger, I'm less likely on the play to want Pelt Collectors. 
Um, Garuk's Uprising is fine. Do I want the Scavenging Oozes? Probably. And... Do it like that. Don't want Primal Might. Do I want Ram Through? Probably not. At least on the play, I don't think we want them. They have Anger, so let's maybe do that. Play the Barkhide. Play the Yorvos. Probably bring in a Braid. Let's play Cage. This deck's going to have less ways, I think, of dealing with a Cage. They'll probably have just um, a braid, and if they decide to braid a cage as opposed to. Okay, this hand's slow. This hand's even slower. Yeah, I'm really excited to try that one out. Opponent goes first. I'm literally holding Vivian Tribal. I think we need to mulligan. That second hand just wasn't going to do enough. So we know they have sensor. Don't anger, don't anger, don't anger, don't anger, don't anger. Sweltering Sun. So they're playing Anger and Suns. This is the part where we'd never draw a fourth line and draw all our four drops. Love it. Love it. Love it. Keep it coming. So it's Niv Curiosity. So Niv Curiosity, less likely to want the cages. Probably just a couple ram throughs. Do I even care about ram through? Like if they win, they win. This is how this tournament's gonna be. Always a play away. We've had a few games where literally a land or a spell. Um, this hand's fine. Not an explosive line of war elf draw, but we'll take it. So it's probably opt. It's actually nice because it gives us a play next turn. My dog's like shedding and like I just randomly find pieces of her hair like in my beard or stuff. Censor me, Essence Capture, what do you got? Censor. Okay. Suggest that they're missing lands. 
Would love to draw land. Three cards. So with Niv, they could insta-win with Curiosity. Give me a land, please. Give me a land. Spiral. Give me a land. 42% chance. Literally any land. They all come into play untapped. Cool. Sick. Um, this is tw this is nine damage this turn. This is seven. But that means they have two threats to have to deal with. They can Uro escape Uro. So we get them down to less life, but then we open ourselves up if they have Magma Quake, which they can. This allows us to play around Magma Quake. So even if they Uro escape Uro, I can Questing Beast. That'll be 11 damage, and they'll go up to exactly 11. The fight from Vivian will kill the thing. Sick! We gotta win, we gotta win. Not getting shut out. Not getting shut out today. Whew. Two hundred gems. Let's keep this up. Let me give Arena a quick reset so it doesn't collapse on me like that Bant game. We very well could have been three zero. Very well. A couple of bad draws. I mean, like, if we hit our lands, we win game. Oh, no, we don't want to play ranked. Let's go. So this is Sacrifice, sounds fine. Steel Leaf's really good here. Vivian can fight um, like a priest or something. Just two lands in a row, please. That's what I want. There's one of the lands. No oven on one also bodes really well. It's perfect, because now I get to fight this priest. This is where they shock in, claim my steel leaf, and then sack it. Dodge one turn, dodge one turn, one turn and we win. Vivian enough without the fight. So if they kill one of my things, that puts me 
Okay, so they shock. Okay, yeah. They are dead. Okay, so if I fight this. Okay, so let's see. I could put this to. So we know we're doing this. They can't block there, they gotta block there. So they're taking some damage regardless. Let's let them figure it out. Pelt Collector is the card that gets me the most. To, it's either one of the best cards ever if you have it turn one in like a curve like we've had, or I always draw it like really late game. So they have, we have 10, they can soak up four. No, they're dead on the triggers. All right, game one. That's a big one. We have two chances. We're on the play at least for the game three if needed. This is an ooze matchup, cages in, Garrick's Harbinger. Um, usually I'll go Vivian Reed over this Vivian because this can blow up like their stuff. Um, Ronas gives Trample, so this is bad. I want the Ram throughs. So generally I don't like Harpooner, but they have Corvold. No. This is one of the best. I think we trimmed the pelt collectors. It was good that game, but we're on the, the draw. I think we play it like this. Yeah, maybe cut one Ronas. Play another Barkai Troll. Or Harpooner. Harpooner gives us an out against... So the upside is this, we can protect it from claim, which I think we want on the play. Oh, sorry, on the draw. If we can dodge like an early kind of steal our things, if the opponent's just like turn two priest, we generally have a good chance. Like ideally we either want elf or cage on one and then pelt collector or like a two drop on two. Our stuff's usually pretty big, so it's harder for... Okay. Let's dodge. Okay, I have cat. Let's dodge the oven, please.
this hand plays out so much different on the play. We have the ram through for the priest. So we're just really trying to dodge no claim and no um, mayhem devil. They don't have either of those, which I feel like if they did, they'd be sliming it pretty hard. Okay, second priest is fine. Second familiar. Kill one of these priests. Pretty surprised they're not sacking here to just try to draw cards. This lets me play out the ooze as well. Or actually, we can just fight the the other priest. I think is what we do. They're kind of stuck on mana. I want to keep Vivian alive, it's a good trample enabler. I got QB as well next turn. Haste through. Okay, I have oven. Don't care about that. All right, two and two, oh two to the two two. Whew. Feeling a bit better. Kind of upset we wasted those early games, but those are warm up games. Should have played them before. Um, let's see. Okay, let me give Arena a reset so it doesn't lag on us. Ah, let me stretch my legs for a sec while this loads. Okay. Sorry, I get like really anxious and nervous when playing in tournaments like this. Hey, your biggest enemy, your biggest opponent while playing a tournament on Arena is Arena. I already had it crash in that bank game and seize up my computer. Okay, we keep this hand. Chances opponents on burn pretty high.
Grooks, Uprisings, Gas. So I think we keep that. While I'm sipping uh, cold coffee out of my Santa Claus mug. Okay, goblins. Come on, give me a land. Give me a land. Give me a land. Two lands in a row. Two lands in a row. I got Snoop Dogg. Ram through's nice. Would have really liked that land though. Okay, so they can pop up with Moxis next turn. Well, if we lose this game, it's because we didn't hit lands. Chieftain. Come on. <sighs> Super annoying. No Muxus, no Muxus. They gotta chump the board. They're literally Muxus off the top. Matron for Muxus. They need another blocker though. Uh, opponent's hand. Are you kidding me? Freaking lucky as hell. We almost won on a two lander. Literally a land. It's all we needed. Cages in. Primal Might in. Stupid ass card. Harpooner's out. Probably a Vivian out matchup. Probably want the oozes. Probably just one ooze. We literally draw a land there. Garuk's Uprising gives Trample. We would have pushed through that damage. We would have won. We go first. I think we keep this hand. We literally just need lands. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so if they have Iron Craig feet, then we know that they can pop off on four mana. So we definitely want a cage here. See if they smack in here. Okay, they want to race. Jesus, can we uh, draw some lands? All 
actually, let's wait till they go to combat. Gain control of target creature for as long as until the next turn creatures you control attack each. So we drew our land. I have the ram through at least. And then literally Vivian Tribal. This game is just... Lands have been our downfall. Second cage. So we're forced to attack. Super annoying. And yeah, naturally they draw their third chieftain. 13 cards, 3 chieftains. I'm salty. Cranko? Yeah, we lost now. So, we lost today due to mana. That game one, literally, we needed a third land. Not even a fourth land, a third land. Still think the deck's good. Like, we're still high 400s. We're playing 24 lands. And we have ways to grind it out. Just... Ridiculous not drawing your lands there. I'm upset. Um, so I'm going to wrap this one up. I'll probably be back later. We'll brew some like uh, Zendikar decks. Like I said, I still think the deck's good. We had some clean matchups. We stomped Rakdos. We were close. In pretty much all our games, we are literally a card most of the time a land away. I don't think going to 25th land is right. Our curve's pretty low for the most part. I think we're fine because we don't really have ways to filter otherwise. Maybe if we do, we go up to another mobilized district and play it out like that. Or we play a second Garrix Uprising. But... Um, if I do, I just need to see. I might have to go with my brother to an, uh, check out a house he's looking to buy in the afternoon. But um, I'll, uh, I usually tweet. So if you're following Ivan on uh, Twitch, it, it'll send you a notice when I go live. Um, but we'll probably go from there. Anyways, appreciate everyone stopping by. Was hoping for a little bit better result than what we had. Um, but we're in contention to qualify again for next month. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so s let me see who's live. We can see if anyone else is going. So we can check out John. He uh, 
puts together a bunch of historic content for Tin Street. Uh, and so he'll be playing some decks. Don't think he's part of the MIQ, but swing by, say hi, see how he's going. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good one.